Hello everyone, this is Prithvi and I welcome you to the YouTube channel The Phone Bulletin. Uh, so well today we have uh, the Asus Genfone Max with us and you know we have already done the first impression as well as unboxing around two weeks back and it took me around two weeks obviously to get to the review video because I wanted to be sure of a few aspects of this phone and one of them obviously being the battery that you know the company has been claiming that this phone has 5000 mAh battery and you know basically based on uh, my experience you know with this phone for around two weeks i've been using this as a primary device and this actually works really decent and you know the battery is something which is commandable so before getting started with anything else let's just get into the battery performance and you know let me show you that the, the kind of uses i've done you know the, the uh, kind of way it has performed so it, it shows that there's 16 percent of the battery left and in 16% the phone can go on for another 18 hours so this is something which is obviously you know uh, unheard of or maybe you know which is pretty difficult to find at least on a smartphone screen so uh, uh, sorry in a smartphone so you know battery wise this performs really really good and I've been playing a lot of games obviously to uh, check the screen performance as well as the CPU performance and uh, the battery performance so as you can see the top most battery consumption is from the asphaltite and getting into the detail it shows that i have used from 540 per 40 mAh so this is like around 11 to 12 percent of the battery and in 12 percent i have played the game for over 1 hour and 42 minutes so 1 hour and 42 minutes basically means that you know i can go on playing this game for around 16 hours and only after that the battery will die you know completely so 16 hours of gaming 16 hours of you know solid gaming like as all data we are we are not talking about a game like super mario or something we are, we are to obviously talking about a game which is very rich in graphics which needs a lot of cpu and you know which needs a lot of ram as well so playing a game like that for 16 hours is something really commendable you know i'm i'm really impressed obviously with the battery that 5000 mAh is worth it and you know ask you it actually performs like 5000 mAh uh, well, so apart from the battery, going on to the design, so it has obviously the 5.5 inch screen with the 720 pixel, uh, pixels of resolution and the screen PPI is 267, which can, which is obviously, uh, you know, uh, protected by the Gorilla Glass 4. Apart from that, well, I'm not talking about the other specifications. So this phone is powered by the uh, uh, Cortex A53 chipset and along with 2GB of RAM and obviously the storage which is inside this is 32GB and you know which is pretty decent uh, considering the fact that a lot of other smartphone brands basically sometimes just give uh, 16 uh, you know 16GB so 32GB is obviously a, a decent one for a normal user or maybe even for the power users at times so apart from that well you know talking about the camera the camera is a 13 megapixel camera at the back as well as a 5 megapixel camera at the front so the camera in the back is actually very very sharp and you know I have taken quite a few photographs and if I just show you a few of them let's just get started with that so this was obviously taken uh, at a movie theater so even after it, it looks pretty sharp and you know even after like zooming for around 4x or maybe going even further so it does not really get a lot pixelated so the camera is sharp and you know it has quite a few modes in the camera uh, which uh, i know like the super resolution as well as the hdr and and then quite a quite a few more so you know you can actually do quite a lot of things using the camera on, the, on this device uh, going looking at a few more images so let's just consider this one so this was taken from a moving car and you know this is the vidhan soda of uh, bang of karnataka and now you see that you know this is almost 5x of zoom and you know it still looks decent it, it doesn't still look pixelated and this is this is pretty decent the, the color correction you know you, you look at the color details this is really sharp image and so this can even complement your uh, you know your if, if you are maybe traveling somewhere it, it can even complement your uh, the DSLR camera and you know work as a secondary camera so a lot of pictures you know which I've taken are obviously taken outside let's just again you know look at another image which was taken on a road so it again looks pretty sharp and you know even after you can you can look at this now this number plate is still visible despite being around like 50 to 60 meters far from the car in which I was traveling so 
you know camera still uh, you know performs pretty good and well now talking about the screen performance so let's just start obviously my favorite game again the asphalt 8 and i just you know uh, played in front of you to show that how actually it performs and you know i've been spending a lot of time playing this game since last one week and you know uh, let's it might just take some time to load because of the 2 gb ram um, but shouldn't really take long and you can see it has started let's just play any of them oh god so it is actually showing a lot of advertisements let me just switch off the internet okay so now it, <laughs> it is giving the battery warning So again the sound performance is quite good and you know uh, as i told you it, it gives a 267 pixels per inch so that you'll see once the race starts i know this works really good this so i've been amazed by quite a few things and you know another considering point is that asus has been uh, you know selling this device at a really really cheap rate of uh, around ten thousand bucks and this is another you know cutting edge and obviously this so well my race is started So as you can see this there are visibly no lags and no this I can play this game obviously you know all day long so for now this must have given you a fair amount of idea about you know about this screen performance so I'll just skip it for well I couldn't help it I'm sorry uh, so uh, that was obviously the screen as well as uh, you know uh, even with the 2 gb of ram and it is uh, powered by the cortex a53 so the on screen activity is pretty decent you know uh, so if, if you can play a game like asphalt 8 with no lags you know pretty much you can uh, do a lot more other things maybe not really the not, not the real heavy games but for a normal uses for a normal to you know uh, power use a power user this phone actually performs really good uh, so another point obviously in this is it comes with uh, the android marshmallow 6.0 which obviously i mentioned in the unboxing video as well so that actually comes with quite a few really good features and you know obviously a lot of new features have been added by google and apart from that well there is something which is actually const uh, constant with the asus devices is there's a lot of bloatware you know there are a lot of applications which are actually loaded on the smartphone and which you 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 do not really use it but you still cannot remove them so i really think you know asus should work on that because a lot of applications are really never used by well i own a asus tablet you know gen uh, uh, phone pad and uh, since around two years and at times that 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 is a very uh, limited storage device of a gb and you know, at times i feel like deleting the apps but i cannot really do them because asus doesn't really give us the option to delete the apps so this one can actually perform uh, you know, quite good because it has 32 GB of storage but still a lot of apps which are never opened by the users should actually be removed. So you know the final verdict is that in the price range which the company is obviously offering this phone it works like a real game changer with obviously the battery and you know uh, for the professionals as well as people who are actually looking to get a lot out of their phone I think uh, the ASUS Gen phone actually works you know quite good uh, i'll give it maybe around 7 out of 10 and the design is pretty nice as well as you know uh, the screen performance is good the battery performance is good the camera is good and that's all you need from a smartphone 
uh, well i really hope this video was useful and you know i'll see you with the other video till then thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe thanks a lot